What's up guys, welcome back to Gladiators Tennis and today we're reviewing the Head Extreme Tour. Super highly requested racket by all of you guys and we couldn't manage to find it in the normal color so we got the prototype. But yeah, this is the New Year special but it almost seems like we're not really feeling the vibe. Nah, I guess we are and for that we came here to Andorra. Check out the specs. Catch me rolling, I'm the chosen Snow is falling, Elfie's calling Check my list twice, most of y'all done Slave bells ringing, diamonds blinging Carol singing, favorite season Slave bells ringing, diamonds blinging Carol singing, favorite season They say say Nick, what you got up in that bag, yeah Racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah They said, say Nick, what you got up in that back, yeah I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah Yasha, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose Alright, Santa Claus Here we have the racket for you Head Extreme Tour Yeah I'm gonna play against Santa Claus with his uh, athletic body, so that's gonna be nice. The Santa Claus is gonna fucking beat your ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, I already see. He's. He's. You're. What? I mean, what would be the sound that Santa would make if you're playing tennis, right? I mean. Oh! Oh! Gladiators, what is going on? First of all, I just want to wish you all happy holidays and I hope that everyone is happy with their gifts. And if you're not, don't be sad, it's, it's all right. Now, as you probably understood, we came to a special place for a special occasion to review a really special racket, the Head Extreme Tour. Many people said it's a good frame and you guys were right, it's great. That said, it's not a racket that I would personally pick, but I'll get into that later. So yes, we have the prototype, which in this case basically means the same racket as the one you get in the store, but painted all black, which I actually really like. I really enjoyed playing with this racket, and no matter the very, let's say, average conditions, it was about zero degrees Celsius, which is just above freezing temperatures, but that wasn't the problem. The court was slippery as f and yet I managed to pull off some great shots. On the side of the forehands, I felt power, like a lot of it. I gotta say that it's a little too much for my taste, but I can totally see someone like Arik taking advantage of that power. That said, it is noticeably less powerful than the MP version. Obviously, the smaller head size really helped with that, and that was something I really appreciated with the tour version. Some people might not like that though, where the smaller head gives an unbiased advantage to the gameplay is on the feel and stability, in both greatly outperforming the MP. The spin, thanks to the string pattern and the extreme's nature in general, is great. Very helpful in those tricky situations where spin is the only thing that can save your ass, you know, when you get to reach out and whip the racket and just get the ball over the net. Now, let's talk backhands. And backhands felt freaking good too. Both spinning cross court shots and flat down the line passings were easily achievable and the awesome power was very well tamed by the stability and feel that the Extreme Tour provided. Wasn't getting the same level of control and feel as with more control oriented rackets but I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10 on the backhands. Getting inside the court and rushing to the net was very pleasant and secure. The racket provided me with great confidence at net which was nothing but vital in those conditions. Because you know not going to the net was not an option, you had to finish the point as quickly as you could. Returning felt awesome too. Once again great confidence and really good spin which allowed me to return Although not too fast, but very stable. Oh, here I also have to mention the slides. 
Even though I usually don't use that thing in my, you know, normal gameplay because it's useless. No, I'm kidding, but I don't use it. In these conditions, on that day, because the ball was bouncing so low, I pretty much had no other option sometimes and the racket had my back every time. Now to the serves and guys, I must say that this racket feels good on every single serve. Literally flats, slices, topspins, anything, wide, T, body, whatever. This racket will offer you great angle, awesome stability, great direction and outstanding spin right when you need it. So guys, the Head Extreme Tour is an awesome all-rounder. The way I've described it just now is something similar to how I usually describe my racket of choice, the Head Gravity Pro. Though here comes the major difference and the reason why I wouldn't play with the Extreme Tour. My Gravity Pro is a great all-rounder that is really quite biased towards control and feel. And the Extreme Tour is a great all-rounder that is really more focused on power and spin. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. But if that's what you're looking for, Try this racket now. Also guys, guess what? It's my birthday today. So, happy holidays guys. Guys, so if you want presents this year from Santa Claus, subscribing really boosts your chances of getting one. Yep. Also, following us on Instagram. Following us on Instagram also really boosts your chances I'm of getting so a present. And matter. here <laughs> is our Instagram. So guys, follow us there to get content. Guys, I'm absolutely loving my outfit, but check out Rx. I supposed to be a deer, okay? A deer. Deer, but I, I think I'm a sheep. <laughs> I mean, Arik, it's it's fine. It's, it's okay, no problem. Man. Don't worry. What's not wrong is that I'm still a wild animal. You know, sheep are not white animals, right? <laughs> what an experience. That day was beautiful. I was in that gorgeous little city, surrounded by mountains covered with snow that looked like a scene from a fairy tale. The club where we played was this perfect hard court that every tennis player dreams about. And I was wearing this super dangerous wild animal costume that was super warm and fluffy inside and nice and like <clears throat> anyways um, as you see i was very concentrated on that racket but really even though there were few stuff in this uh, playtest that could have distracted me a little bit this head extreme still caught my attention first of all it was surprisingly powerful especially when hitting forehands i had to focus in giving the ball a lot of effect so it doesn't fly away straight to that Santa's athletic belly. But I have to say that despite being pretty powerful, I felt like I was controlling all those shots. Therefore, it was pleasing to have all that big amount of power. In my sheep big brain opinion, this combination of strings and head size really works well for a variated game style or for people who are just looking for a powerful frame. The best illustration of these qualities was the backhand. Even though my backhands consist only from slices and inside-out forehands, when hitting normal backhands, I felt everything that I want to feel during this shot. Spin, power, and not bad at all, precision. For the serve, there's not much more you can ask from a racket. It was stable, so my first serves were powerful and fast, like kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. The slice was also alright because the racket is easy to move around, so you can direct the serve easily. And on the kick serve, the spin was alright as well. And remember I was talking about this perfect hardcore that every tennis player dreams about? Well, that hardcore was about to kill us, because it was all frozen, so we were sliding and falling all the time when trying to play long baseline rallies. But it didn't really bother me, I just started to play more aggressive short points, where I tried to end up most of the time at the net. For this kind of game, this extreme was an amazing supporter. Almost like the Gladiator supporters that watch our videos, interact with us and show so much love all the time. So an immense thank you to all of you guys watching and a happy new year to everyone. And I hope you have a very positive and a pleasant year. And talking about uh, positive stuff, Come on, great. Uh, come in, don't be shy, it's your turn. Let's see them. When everybody says that you should be a wolf, not a sheep, let's talk now. Where are the wolves? Eh? 